What's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, create DVAR codes with a RAM dump with Gecko.net. Um, Gecko.net is a program that you'd use with the USB Gecko to create codes, but you are still able to create DVAR codes with it, and I'm going to show you how. Um, it's also basically the same thing as creating them with um, Hex Editor. Where did I put that? With Hex Editor. It's pretty much the same thing. You just have to know what your DVAR is or what you're searching for, just like you do in here. Or just guess and hopefully you find something. Today I'm going to be using Gecko.net and you have to go to MemView. MemView is all you need to create your codes. Now you want to click on more sources. Um, I, have, I think I have the latest version. It's either going to be like right here where visible address is or it's going to be right here. And you want to click on it and click open dump. And you want to open up your RAM dump. I'm going to be using the Black Ops RAM dump. And I'm um, just going to change these views to hex. I mean to uh, the text or whatever you want to call it. Then I'm going to search a word. Um, I'm going to use one of the most famous ones out there. And then I'm going to do one that I created. Um, right now I'm going to do compass size. So you're going to type in compass size. Make sure this is on ANSI and this one is on ASCII. You click search. Make sure it's actually, actually, also make sure it's scrolled all the way up at the top and click on the first box. Or somewhere up here anywhere. You could even be like right here. But just make sure it's near the top and click search. Since this one only has one compass size, you want to make sure um, if you guys know how to use hex editor, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just laid out differently. You'll have, um, hold on, let me scroll this right there. You will see that these are all separated by dots. Some of them have a point. Some of them have six, some of them have one, some of them have two, it just depends. And you're going to, when you search it, you're going to see where it says selected address. And you're going to see two addresses. This one usually starting with the 80, and this one starting with something else. So you want to copy the, the first selected address because that is the start offset. And that's what you're going to have to search in hex. So you're going to paste that in your search, and now change both of these to hex, H E X, and then go ahead and search. And um, I'll have another video of how to F6 it. It's pretty easy. I'm not sure when I'll do it. I'll probably do it in a few months or something because. It's easy, you can find them anywhere, but videos you can't really find anywhere. So and alright, what you have to do when you when you find your value, it should start with the 80 here. It usually does. Just click to the go to the right, down down one and to the right twice, and you'll see a default value. It's either gonna be a flow or just a different type of value. And what you have to do when you get this just click on that. You have to make sure that you're clicking on the right box. You have to click on this box. You have to. It's this box. Well, uh, just to make sure that you actually don't lose the the search to do that again. Just make sure that you're up above it. If you're below it, it won't find it. But if you're right above it, it'll find it. So make sure you're clicking on the right thing. And you want to copy the first address again and just paste it in notepad or something. I like to use these sticky notes. And you're just going to paste that. Now you have to go back and you'll see 81. It should start with 81. And you want to delete that and put 05. So you're going to replace the 81 with 05 because 05 writes to 81. It starts with the 80, you're going to replace it with 04 because 04 writes 80. 
and then you're gonna put your default value. This one is 3F800000. And um, in the uh, float value, it'll show right here its value. You want to copy that, and then you want to go only if it's float, only if it's float. So if it fits a float value, you'll know. Oh, this can't spell. You want to go to geckocoach.org and you're going to put in your full value right here. And you're going to hit the right arrow. And it shows you that full value is 1. I want it to be twice as big, which it is 2. And I'm going to click the left arrow so it changes to float and it's four and then seven zeros so I'm going to copy that move this back and paste that in for the float now if I ran this code it would work because it's the same thing I can prove it right now I'm going to copy the, the address and I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to paste the address and search it and I can find the minimap extender right here. This is 1.5 as big. This is UAV. This is, this is uh, even. I don't know why I did that. Uh, this one's even. Same thing. But yeah. It's a minimap extender. And it works. They have their full value set to 1.5 instead of 2. So it's only half as big. But. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. How um, it, it, it's just kind of more fun to use it on Gecko.net. All right. Well, now I'm gonna use my printer to kind of get some in there. Crap! Don't stick it out. All right. So we got our notepad, and we're going to search the value we want. So, what we have to do now is delete that, change this to NS ANSI, and that's to ASCII. We have to search, oh, no, we have to scroll all the way up again, make sure you're all the way up, click on the first box, and you need to search what you want. And I'm going to do, um, how about, uh, um, how about, Scoreboard uh banner but I did it wrong. Alright, let me see if that's what it's called. Nah, it's not past you. Um we do scoreboard. We find that, of course. That's not the one I want. And if um, you find one, and, you, and that's not the one that you want, you just keep clicking search, and it'll go to the next next closest one until you find the one that you want. I'm looking for this one right here: CG scoreboard banner height. Ah, there was no. Underscore there, got that wrong. And again, separated by a period, this is the first box. We're going to copy the first selected address, which is the start offset. Paste it in the search box. Change both of these to hex. And click search. We'll find it. It'll start with 80, of course. And then there's your default value. And it's 23. So. Gotta copy this. And I'm gonna paste it. And you gotta replace the 8 one with 0 5. And you're gonna want to copy the default value. And you're going to place it. And then when you go to here, you're gonna put this default value in here. Put the up there. No, not this way. Let me try this way. Hold on. Sorry about this. Nope. Maybe it 
ce sont Three. Nope, I don't know. Alright, uh twenty three is safe. Alright, yeah, it's this one. So this is probably decimal, I think. But it's I don't know. It's the default value. And you just wanna change that up. I I like to put it at fifty. That's what I did for my code when I made it, so I'm just gonna change that to fifty. But I added an activator and a, di a different debugger in it as well. So I added an activator to turn on. Or I added a toggler so it turns on and off. Pretty cool. If you guys haven't seen my video, go to my channel, you can check it out. Um, I got two videos I made of my codes on there. So yeah. But uh, yeah, that would be the default value right there. And if you ran this, you would make your banner bigger. And that's how it goes. So, um, talk to you guys later. Uh, uh, probably in a couple months, maybe a couple weeks. I'm not sure. I'm gonna make a video, a video of how to F6 code type a code instead of like 05 is a code type, 04 is a code type, 01, 00, 02, 03, so on. B, B, A, I think it's called. I don't know. See, uh, those are all the code types. And no, it's not all, there's a lot more. But I'm going to show you how to F6 it so your code looks more advanced. But the only thing bad about it is, um, well, pretty much every coder out there knows what it is and how you did it. So it's not it's good for them. It makes your code longer and people can find the address because it has these numbers. So that's the only thing bad about it. So, yeah, uh, okay. So, peace out.